What's up guys, Triple C here. Today the gun running DLC was released and I'll show you how to set it all up, how to get your gun running business up and running. And um, we also got a lot of new vehicles as you can see right here on Warstar Cash and Carry. Thing is you will get them cheaper if you do the special vehicle missions, which I will also do. So I'd advise, uh, I'd recommend first set up your business, then you will get all the discounted prices. Uh, we have the uh, APC here, we have the Dune Fav, we have the half truck, we got the anti aircraft uh, turret that you can put to a truck uh, we got a weaponized something there some kind of muscle car or whatever uh, we got the rocket Baltic version motorbike and we got some kind of juggernaut type of armor down there as you can see um, so yeah let me run you through how to set it all up and how to get this thing running now the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to buy yourself a weapons bunker you can do that by going onto your mobile phone and then you go on maze bank foreclosures to the right here it will also be advertised by rockstar and then you will have the locations popping up where you can buy like the red ones are vehicle vehicle warehouses and the blue ones are actually weapons bunkers now like we don't know exactly what's gonna be expecting us here but what i went for in this uh in this um setup i looked for a location which is quite central where I, because you're going to be have to be running a lot of errands and driving stuff across the map and delivering selling so i took the bunker here at um, sandy shores airfield because i'm right next to the highway and also i can call in my pegasus vehicles quick and i'll have them right in front of my doorstep basically so um I'm quite central in the map. I can get to anywhere from that location. This one does cost a bit more than some of the other ones. But anyways, I think the location should be a very effective one to do this in a quick way. Now you got certain customization options, as you can see here. Um, I didn't buy all of them. A lot of it is probably not that important to have. I did get a personal quarter. It's like every upgrade costs you extra money, as you can see here. Uh, shooting range. Please don't ask me why I bought it, but I did. <laughs> And then uh, the next one, we got a gun locker. Um, a lot of you guys probably have that in your CEO office and you wouldn't need a second one. Uh, transportation, um, I bought the long one here. I'd recommend buy the short buggy because it's easier to maneuver. So in total, I paid 2.8 million for my warehouse there, no, not warehouse, for my bunker. Now the second thing I did immediately, you can also do this later if you don't have the money yet, but I got a mobile operations center. Go on the Warstar Cash and Carry site, it'll be the first option for 1.2 million, I think it was, 1.225. And then you got these three bays where you can basically set uh, what function the bay is supposed to have. So that one I got a weapons workshop, second one I got a command center, and in the third bay I got personal, personal vehicle storage. And then you can still customize your interior car not a lot of options there unfortunately but i went for the green and then in total it cost me 2.1 million with all the customization options so i bought that and next step i'll go right over to the weapons bunker and get everything set up so yeah, next step, I just took my buzzer and I flew right over to the um, bunker and checked it out from the inside. There will be a cutscene starting once you enter the bunker. Uh, this guy will come up um, and he's just, it's just some incoherent babble. It's not that important. He was saying something about frog legs, that they were going to eat them and if I wanted to join them for dinner. And But we just drove around in this caddy here. And here you also see I got the long one, get the short one. Uh, so you can maneuver around here a little Austin Powers move there <laughs> and so yeah he's just showing the bunker from the inside later you'll have more time to check it out solo and just walk around check out all the different sections you have the gun range the research area and everything like like you see right there I'm just walking around now and taking a look and seeing what I can do from there and here you see I just um, immediately came to my mobile operations center um, so if we go in there like the bays are all behind each other first we're in the vehicle storage bay and next one I think was the command center um, quite funny they added no weapon center quite funny they added like a small dwarf as you see there uh, made me giggle <laughs> and uh, now the last one like these stations I could not manage them uh, while I was in there so you actually have to be on a mission and then the people helping you can man those stations and uh, take the appropriate actions now from there you can also start the special vehicle missions which you have to unlock and if you complete these it should be like with the special vehicles before the rocket vortic and all then you will get the discounted price which I will definitely do but before I'm gonna buy all the um, 
all the special vehicles, I will complete all the missions because you do save some millions on that. Um, like I think in total what I saw here, it's round about 15 million what you would have to pay to buy everything right off the bat. And you can probably save uh, three, four, five million if you first complete the special vehicle missions and get the discounted prices on all the vehicles. So yeah, now to definitely get your bunker up and running, um, sit down at the laptop from where you can control everything. And from there, you first have to do a setup mission. It's actually exactly the same as with the biker businesses where you have to do a setup mission to get the whole thing running. And from there on, you can then really start managing the whole thing. And now we're doing what we'll, we will be getting this a lot. I mean, of course, it's very interesting and we got a lot of new vehicles and new objectives, um, but it is a lot of driving across the map, pick up that, deliver that. That's also what the missions are gonna be like. They're still gonna be fun, but it is a lot of driving around, so always be be airborne I can just recommend that you're more effective if you always have a chopper or a jet ready because you just do save so much time if you do this a lot you, you, you'll save hours and hours and hours of work doing that so yeah I'm just driving my truck up to my bunker now and once it's delivered then I can really start managing all this stuff and really set it up for good now once you're inside again you will get another cutscene of all the rooms uh, this is like the research area I believe I think that was the research uh, no manufacturing area they also got a research area you got a storage where area where all the product is and yeah basically it's just running you through everything again what the guy with the frog legs told you in the beginning and uh, now you can go to the laptop and actually really set it up so once you log into the laptop now you see all kinds of options i'm just going to run through all of them once to quickly show what it is first is obviously resupply it's like with all the other business and what i saw here immediately it's crates and i actually hated that from ceo i thought biker stuff was much more fun but anyways next up is uh, research and then you can um if you um have your research going if you have personnel um dedicated to doing research you can get all these unlocks for example what i already saw you can unlock libraries you can unlock certain um, things for weapons like scopes and stuff but also for your mobile operation center because in the beginning it will only have one turret in the front and you can also unlock all these so definitely you will need to have staff also working on the research now sell stock obviously i just started up i don't have enough to sell it yet um, next is manage staff now in the beginning the default setting um, the staff will only be assigned to manufacturing um, I now assigned it to both to research and manufacturing so all these unlocks are being worked towards that um, over time all the stuff will be unlocked uh, next up we got upgrades and as you see um, it's about 2 million again so we're probably up to 17 million in total for this DLC right now um, buy all the upgrades for some reason it always kicks you out of the laptop which is quite annoying there uh, um, even stood up by mistake but each time you buy you purchase one of those upgrades um, then you will be kicked out the laptop you got to go in the laptop again purchase the other one uh, definitely worth buying to just to keep your to to have your production running efficiently there so you got the equipment upgrade that you get better productions a staff upgrade that they work quicker and more efficiently also and last you got a security upgrade um which it said the likelihood will be reduced that you have enemies stealing your stuff so i'm assuming there's also going to be npcs which will like similar to the motorbike stuff where they raid your business and uh that's it yeah then you can also shut down the business what we're obviously not going to do so yeah, if you get up now, you just see that production has really started and everybody's working in all areas of your of your bunker. We now got people producing, manufacturing weapons and, and stuff for the weapons stuff. <laughs> uh, we got more stuff. And we actually also got uh, the research department. Um, there's a bunch of scientists which are like researching uh, vividly to come up with a library to put up on your truck. Uh, back there you can also see that that one scientist he's in love with this other random dude they can they're kind of clutched together there I don't know if it's for everybody or just for me so here we go better shot of this I don't know if Rockstar intended this they probably did and you guys will probably all get it but aren't they sweet 
So another thing you can do is um, walk up to the dwarf with the mobile operation center, and there you can actually customize it just like in LS Custom. So I just got like all the best upgrades for my truck here, that it's got all the performance upgrades, which like color and stuff is obviously not that important. But you do want to get all the performance upgrades, engine upgrade, and so on, and especially bulletproof tires because uh, obviously you're gonna encounter some fights on your way. So get those bulletproof tires and the performance upgrades. So yeah, in total, that's basically how you set up your bunker. Now we're good to go here. I will later on do some resupply missions and all. What will be very interesting to see in the end is how the payout is actually going to be if it's uh, possible to lose money like with the CEO stuff. That's what I really liked about the biker businesses. If you did mess up for some reason, you didn't really lose any money. You just lost the time you invested in resupplying the business. Whereas with the CEO stuff, you always had that chance of actually losing money on the job we'll see how it is with this one here and how the payouts actually are uh, i will also do a live stream tonight where we'll stream some of these missions so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and i could help you set up your business i'll check you guys in the next video i'm out peace